Thomason. Today we will be making my favorite recipe for pancakes. These are very easy and you can also add different things to the pancakes depending on what you want. First you're going to take a cup of flour and you're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar along with half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking. you're going to take a whisk and you're just going to stir that together. Then you're going to take a bigger bowl and you can reuse that same whisk. And you're going to add in one cup of milk, two tablespoons of canola oil, and one egg. Then you're going to add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and mix it together. You don't want to overmix or else it'll be too chunky when you eat it and you probably don't want a chunky pancake. Okay, so I've just prepared a big pancake skillet with some olive oil spray and now I'm going to take my pancake batter, which should look like this, not too overmixed and it can have a few lumps in it. And I'm also going to take a ladle because I think that's the easiest way to do this. And first I'm going to turn on the stove. And then you can add whatever you want. You can either just make these as plain pancakes or you can add chocolate chips or blueberries or anything else that you would want. So you, if you wanted to add one of those things, you could either add them straight to the batter or you could pour some into something. And then as you scoop each pancake, which should be about this much or a ladle full, you'll see how much it is here. Then you're able to take some of these and just put them in so that you know how many chocolate chips are going into each pancake and if one pancake isn't getting all the chocolate chips while the other one doesn't have any. So I'm just going to ladle out all the others. And they're going to spread, so you have to make sure you're aware of that before you start to put them down. And then make sure that you're adding whatever you want to add while you do it. Once you've added all your pancake batter to your skillet, you're just going to let them cook until they start getting little bubbles. You can also use a little spatula and just tuck it underneath one to see if it is loose, and this one is not. These obviously aren't the prettiest because this pan is sloped and the batter kind of just rolls down the side, but they will still taste good. <laughs> You'll also be able to tell when these are getting close to done because they'll be higher than the others. So you can see that this one that I put on later is a lot lower than this one that I put on first. So you can see this one is starting to bubble, so I can just try to check if it's done. And I can see that it's coming away, but it's still a very light color on the little crusty bit. So you're looking for a dark yellow or light brown color. And if they're connected to each other, you can just use your spatula to separate that. So it's been a little while and I'm pretty sure they're not done yet, but I'm just going to show you what they look like right now by flipping this small one. And you can see it's very pale and doesn't look very different in color from the others, even though it is cooked but you want to keep cooking it, but now that it's flipped, I'll let it cook there before flipping it again. And if they're taking a very long time to cook, you can also always turn up the heat a little bit. So I'm at the point where I think I'm able to start flipping some of them just to see how they are. So first I'm gonna flip the first one I put on. And that's pretty much the color you want. If you want something darker, then you can get something darker by continuing to cook it or you can do it at a different time if you don't want it. So it's going to be different for whatever stove and pan you have, but that was on there for a few minutes before I flipped it, probably like three to five. And they're going to need less time on the other side to cook. You can also press down on them a little bit, but not too much. So some of these are probably a little bit undercooked, so before I put them on the plate, I'll probably flip them again and just let them cook a little bit 
more. But then this other pancake that I flipped earlier is looking good on that side, so now I'm gonna finish cooking that other side. So the one I just flipped wasn't quite done, so I'm just going to wait for these other two. But I might, my other pancakes that I've been cooking might be closer to done. So the other side's gonna look different because it already cooked a little bit, but this is pretty much what you're going to want. So I'm gonna flip the others. And you're basically just going to keep flipping them until you get to the color that you would like. Okay, so this one's looking pretty much done, so I'm just going to put that on the plate, which means this one is also probably done. It is. This one also probably is. And I'm just waiting for these ones to cook. Okay, so this is pretty much good enough, so I'm going to turn off the stove. And I've already taken a pancake for me to eat. And I'm going to put maple syrup on it and eat it. These are very delicious, very easy, and you can change what you put in them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.